too over there. Really? Same equipment, actually. Really? You know. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Sitting there. <laughs> then they phased my MOS out, and yeah. they were. If I was going to stay in, I'd have to go retrain for satellites and computers. And yeah. I, I wish I would have, but I I didn't want to re enlist. Enlist, yeah. Well, then. And they, so I didn't. And then they got you for every other reason, you know. <laughs> so. Well, it's rolling. Pod, podcast is going. Uh, podcast is going. Music City Spotlight. <clears throat> Phil Stanley. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's <clears throat> that song? Should I take it off? with time Maybe I'm just dreaming again And maybe you're just lying I was roughed around Then I got kicked down Another bird just leaving again Another guy she's found just get to run away and deny Teach you all the words to say deny Show you how to walk away this time You're not going my way She's gone Yeah, she's gone Yeah, she's gone To break another's life How you back on your feet again, baby While I feel like dying You're much too cruel And he's much too nice Shoot him down on your doorstep again get to run away and deny teach you all the words to say deny show you how to walk away this time you're not going my way she's gone yeah she's gone yeah she's gone tears in your eyes So why do you hear when I stay out late Do you need to be so surprised that she's gone that she's gone She's gone. Yeah, 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 she's gone. Sounds pretty good. Ooh, thank you. That was a good Get take. the old mic set up. Well, I Check know, one. I know Check I was, two. I know I was moving around. That was good. We're finding it. Searching. Oh, well, that's the way it is, right? That's mm-hmm. the way you have to do it. <clears throat> it's like we were talking about the boat thing, the canoe metaphor. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, the kayak. The kayak. This is the kayak session, kayak. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Earlier, we were talking about how Phil's going to get a kayak. Oh, yeah. I know a guy named Nick Cross that performs down on Broadway. He's a big time kayak nut he goes okay. to all kinds of competitions and things oh, oh so he's like so he's kind. super fit yeah. well he's uh 
He's an Army Ranger. You know, he was in uh, Afghanistan and Iran. So he's very Iraq. Well versed in the kayak. Yeah. He, he likes. He lo- he loves kayaking. He's real skinny. You know. He, but well, wires. Yeah, that's it. Kayak. Yeah. He's that cool. It keeps you. Car. It's good cardio, you know, and good balance. Well, you know? yeah, it's a certain thing that you're doing, but you don't know what the changes are yeah. going to be. That's Every day scary is different. about it. But that's it's all also, a metaphor for That's life. where the art is. Yeah. That's like the art of yeah. that, like it's ice art skating. Of kayaking. Yeah, there you go. You know, similar. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. we were talking about music in, yeah. in, in a similar way. Like the art of music is, it's not a job. Well, it is a job, but it's not, no one's whipping your back to do it. Yeah. Well, to me, it's all about if you're going to be a musician, you have to have some sort of balance to your life so it doesn't consume you and, you know, you start getting all up in your own head and stuff like that. Competitive Yeah, but what is it that you were saying that, like, why do you need to take a break? You were saying that. I think it refreshes. It's like recharging your batteries in the computer or something like that. But you, you said about music specifically, you have to take a break from music. Yeah, you have to, I think. I think it keeps you appreciating it more, you know? When you go without for a little bit and you come back to it, you're like, wow, this is really special. Yeah, when you play sometimes. it too much, sometimes... This is what, I, what I've noticed, based on my own personal experience, is I get too into you and I'll be sitting there... Okay, it's not like that. Maybe it's like that, you know? And, and when you remove yourself from it and then you come back, it's kind of like, oh... You know, this is what I like. And, you know, you play something nice, you know. But so. that, ba, 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 da, da, that, yeah. that one line, like, yeah. what do you mean by that line? <clears throat> I've just been rehearsing. You could be doing scales and stuff like that until you're blue in the face and stuff like that. And then you start getting, it comes too much, you become too much of a, a person of habit. You know, and this, this like a scale. Looks or, like you're holding balls. Right I am, now. I am. It's my stress ball. Um. You know, it gets you stuck in that, like, you know, I gotta perfect this, I gotta perfect this, I gotta perfect, you know, until you're blue in the face. You know, you never achieve perfection. You know, you just don't, you know, because you always learn something new, so you're always chasing it. So when you take a step back and then you reapproach it, I find, at least for me, is I enjoy it more, you know? So that's my thought. I don't know. I get Maybe really, I just like. I get really depressed when I don't do it. Yeah. When, like, I notice that I go a week. A week without like trying to write a song or yeah a week without really rehearsing yeah yeah, yeah I can't hardly take it yeah you know I've, I've been sad. in the hospital you know a few times yeah these last few years and I don't yeah. like it you know not being able to do the music oh no it sucks you know to me it's a controlled break like it's at my own well you, you know thing and I I never did it and I started to and I realized like what, why? If, what if I didn't play guitar for five days? Because it's like all those... It's like... But what, it's, maybe it's you're like, focusing on the wrong things, man. You seem like a stressed individual. Oh, I'm a, I'm a very stressy person. It's how I roll. It's how I operate. Understandably because, because of certain mm-hmm. circumstances that mm-hmm. we know about. And mm-hmm. you are a man for handling it <clears throat> the totally. way that you're handling it. I've earned this chest hair, so I've earned it. <laughs> I've, I've earned the right to pluck it out. There you go, right? Yeah. Just it's kidding. tough, though. It's stuck there, you know. I've tried. It's not stuck there. I know. But no, to me, it's it's something I discovered, and it gives me a nice break. I, the way I, the metaphor I would use is it's like marinating, you know, something, like a piece of meat or something. When you have those ideas in your head for songwriting, for me, and this is just for me, you know, I find that if I, if I step back, you know, it tends to come out. Take She's Gone, the song that I just mm-hmm. did, right? It's a great song. Thank you, thank you. you know, and I came up with the riff, right? The main... <laughs> while just fooling around one night in my old house in East Nashville, and I realized, that is a great riff. Well, you, you don't get many of those. And I was like, I could write a song in it. I knew there was a no, song no, there. it's a really good riff, you're right. So then I tried. But I wasn't talking about that aspect. No. I wasn't talking about your love and passion and pursuit. Yeah. Of, let's say, uh, muse. You know, yeah. your muse. You following that. I wasn't talking about that. Yeah. I'm talking about the business stuff and everything that oh, you're the worrying business. about right now. Okay, that's and a nightmare. here's a chance to yeah, tell. That's how. <sighs> yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> and here's your chance to tell everybody about you switching out of you, the la- you were on the la- on the podcast under Naughty Water. Yeah. And you're switching the name. What is the name? You didn't even. Tell it's just it. gonna be Phil Stanley. That's it. 
And it might be Phil Stanley and Naughty Water, you know, when I'm playing with that group of people, you know. But I found if you're taking a marketing aspect Did you it, ever need to have a band back you up? I like it. It's 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 like everyone has like you said their own enjoyment, you know, of I like art it too. and stuff like and and you feel like kind of part of this like you know all for one, one for all. We're in it together. Blah blah blah. Yeah, but you're in it for the band, and ultimately mm-hmm. the band is pointless. What matters is you as individuals. Mm-hmm. Like I like it when when. Brent Cunningham is here, and yeah. then my friend Kevin Buchanan comes over, yeah. and then we start jamming on a song that we were working on that day, and then it just, it's, yeah. then it's orchestration. Yeah. Then it's really, everybody is yeah. significant. Yeah. And yeah. ultimately, a band, which is why I was talking about Cock Motherfucker the last time you were here, yes. the band name is pointless, and sometimes... If it's all about just a leadership, then the band is pointless. Because yeah. the point of a band is to band together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, you know, I've been blessed where I have amazing people that, have, that I've banded with. Um, you know, um, it just simplifies things if I just go under my own thing. But there's, but there's a romance to the band, you know. There's a, there's a beautiful romance to it. And sometimes, Because you know, it's, it comes from something real. It's a story, but it comes from... Reality, it's happened. Zeppelin. Well, it comes from people coming together and playing music, and that's it. And you like, you'll get like, you know, it's one of those strange things. Like, you know, you might have wanted to go off on with a Zeppelin or something, but people from all different styles walks and they sit down and the they Zeppelin play. is a is a is a kayak that could sink. It's true, <clears throat> but it didn't. It was a damn good mm, kayak. No, it's, well, it, it ended. Sunk, I guess. Yeah, it but ended. everything does. Everything does. You know, um, but. Uh, but, you know, with a band, you know, there, there's sometimes you can get all different players from different musical whatevers and it's and you play together and there's a certain magic. So you cool. so did your Zeppelin <clears throat> sink? No, no, my Zeppelin didn't sink. My Zeppelin's very well. My, my Zeppelin's very, very is, is flying very high right now. My, my Zeppelin is <laughs> is 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 is, is uh, I wouldn't trade the people that I play with and that I'm friends with for the world. You know, this is only just a way to liberate myself in the fact that, and it's not even necessary. Sometimes it's just for my own neurotic mind of like, you know, I can go play an open mic and play these songs that we play and something like that. And instead of saying, you know, I am this band or I am this person from this band. So you're saying you were writing most of it. They were your songs. And it turned into something that you didn't necessarily want it to turn into. No, 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 no. It it turned actually into exactly what I wanted it turn into, to turn into. Um, the issue was me. You know, the thing is, is like, um, maybe it turned into something you didn't want. No, no, no. It actually. Because uh, that... I have a similar story when it comes to Music City Spotlight. Yeah. It didn't turn into something that I didn't want. It turned into something that was too difficult for me to manage, with where I am right now in life Mm. and you know the thing is is people in a band you know they all have their own lives and rightfully so i've been blessed with you know the greatest friends the greatest players and the greatest people to even co-write with you know in our own weird little way and uh you know the thing is though is i just got tired of organizing you know as much and um there's a lot of times where I want to just go play acoustically, but it's going to be the same songs and they're fine. You know, they have their own things that they're doing and, you know, we'll be starting an album in about two weeks and, you know, they're the guys that are going to do it. You know, it's still the band, but, you know, like look at like a Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, not saying I'm like comparing musically ourselves to them in any way, shape or form. Um, but it's just that sort of labeling of it, you know, Tom Petty had this availability with the band, you know, um, they could go off and do their thing, but when they were all together, it was that, you know, Tom could with his own sort of labeling and he was writing everything, singing it and you look up there and, you know, it's Tom Petty, you know, um, but his name was in it and yours wasn't. No, mine was actually. Was it well, Phil Stanley? And... If you it, it it changed to Naughty Water because I wanted it to be that way, and then it was like I was kind of limiting parts of myself, you know. And this sounds like a whole personal lot of bullshit. I think you were, yeah. Yeah, I think you were limiting yourself with bullshit 
Mm. Like, it just, you don't need, mm. to, you know, all that business stuff and all that stuff that once cluttered everything just doesn't need to exist anymore. This yeah. is why I started doing this. Man. Yeah. Like, I'm not charging you for this. No. No, and you're not I'm charging, charging you for, for being, this. yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> to some degree. Yeah. <laughs> but not really, because you showed up and I'm yeah. just hanging out with my friend. Mm -hmm. over here and and you're my friend and yeah i like you and i like you coming over and we're like hanging out and, and that's the difference mm -hmm. yeah we're not working right now man no and that's but the thing is even but we're we, still doing music yeah that's that's the whole kayak metaphor yeah it allows me to sail my kayak over here and if it's just this, me and do I it hope that that's with this one little I, thing that's you know, all that's all wooden no, music you, you know you, you're awesome dude that's all i wanted for this podcast was yeah. it just to be that a, sh a ship yeah. something that could navigate us through this whole music industry change and oh yeah well if we're gonna <clears> and go just down that kinda, road you know <laughs> well yeah it's that a is whole the other you know if you want it to be both you know yeah. if you want it to be what you love doing it and you want it to be your job yeah i mean this gentleman over here he chooses to do it by going yeah. on the street every day and playing it's brent by the way over there so yeah that's me now. yeah <laughs> He's the, I mean, he's, I just took a picture of him, mm -hmm. you know? That's the mm -hmm. beauty of all of that. We're using all yeah. of our tools to communicate and just link together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Band, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. And, and, and on that note, just play us a song. <clears throat> you want to you hear another song? Yeah, of course we want to hear another song. Play us two songs. So that two songs. We were, we were uh, not playing songs for a while. So, uh, <laughs> and the mics are up and they sound great. I'm just going to bring this string on up. To join me. Sorry. It's supposed to be a lot less humid in these next couple of days. Good. After after the rain today, that's what they said on the weather this morning that I watched. I hope so. Cause so you pay attention to that because you're gonna. I, be I, in yeah, the I can't, yeah, because I I have to pay attention to it. Mm. You're in it, man. Manipulates yeah. the way you I, I'd make my living sense. outside. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Sometimes I hate that I have to have these things on. The like cans? I have to monitor. You're in the can. It's got the cans on. No, I have to monitor it. But someone has to, you know. Well, someone has to mm -hmm. exactly. And since I chose that responsibility, yeah. I have to do it. But See, I lucked wanna... out. I'm over here. I get to spread <laughs> out, you know. Ugh. Make <laughs> clicky noise. Yeah, exactly. There. And I just mm, let it. <clears throat> Alright, let's take a look. See. That sounds great. Thank you. Um, this is a new song. Off of the album that we're gonna begin recording. Okay, after next this one, play this one that nobody's heard. That you Th this write. one's nobody's heard. Ooh, sick. Okay, yeah, this ahead. one's no. The next two would be. So would these be, plans that you have business-wise, you're already thinking of in advance. Oh, I've already gotten it started. Sal, the ball. See what I'm the, saying? the ball is rolling. Dude, but I record a song and I put it up that. I mean, sorry, I write a song and I put it up that week or yeah. the next day or sometimes that night. Yeah. And then I do it again and again and again and again because yeah. you're never gonna stop. Yeah, I'm just crazy. I just wait for yeah, you my friends to to, nope. to join on board and uh, I guess so. so and you then need I the get band it done. part. I don't need. I just like it. You okay. know, that's it. I love Fair it. Fair enough. Play this song. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this song is called "The Kept Pieces," and let's see if I can remember most of it. Just take me home I'll be back at your car You saw my eyes When I saw you lie You said I didn't need to be so surprised When I told you you could go the way you like Stop pretending it's not right did you think of him tonight? Did you tell him? Take your time, it's 
serves you right Crash to see our stars collide Passenger side, couldn't you try Just to tell him what's been going on It's not like I'm lost with you I can do no right When the colors all shine through Well, mine's a little too bright I'll call you later But not tonight Cigarettes just roll across my floor In the lonely moonlight Go the way you like But stop pretending it's not right Take your time, serves you right Will you tell him Side. Couldn't you try just to tell him what's been going on? Serves you right Crash to see your stars collide Passenger side Couldn't you try Just to tell him Take your time It serves you right Did you think of him tonight? Couldn't you try Just to tell him What's been going on? <clears throat> Man, that was great. Dude, that Thank was you. Great. It's a brand new one. I've Flip the chorus around twice, but like I said, it was written this week, so it's. Oh uh, uh, no, that that was mm -hmm. that was really good. Was Thank really you. Really You're pulling shit. the carrot out of the ground. There's some dirt. Uh -huh. You're still well, that's to the, shake. That's off. the funnest that's the part. Beauty, yeah. That's the funnest part. Yeah. After you pull the carrot out, well, then you gotta eat it, and then you gotta <clears throat> yeah. go for another carrot. Yeah. Well, I would clean that carrot off a bit first and peel that one. You have the perfect guitar for you. Thank you. Well, it's a Yamaha. Yeah, yeah. Monster on ship. About that. I'm, I'm talking about that that specific Yamaha. Yeah. Is for you. Well, I told you how I found yeah, it. Yeah, not I entirely. You just told me that it came about magically, but you didn't tell me how. There is my friend, and the best songwriter I ever met was this guy named Dan White, and I was in a band with him. And he is. God sometimes makes songwriters. And they don't have to try, they don't have to work on it, you know. You just the, you hand him a guitar and it's just brilliance on out, you know. And he's one of those. Um, and he always played a, a, a Yamaha. And, you know, it was just kind of a run-of-the-mill, entry-level thing. But I always remember it was so easy to play. It sounded so good, you know. And, you know, it can't be more than like a hundred bucks, you know. So when I went to Boston... I was like, well, I learned my lesson, and I need a guitar. I'm just going to get a cheap little Yamaha. And I got one, and it played amazing. It was wonderful. Um, but and was where did the really magic start? You well, the magic was there. But the thing is, is then it's like, okay, well, now I'm going to be performing more, and, you know, I want something that projects. Because the other cheaper Yamaha I had didn't project. You know, is this one you can, you know, really yeah, get it out there. Loud. How much and did that cost you? This one was like seven hundred dollars. You know, that's amazing. So what I did was I went to Guitar Center, where in every acoustic room they have a wall of Yamahas, and I just walked and I just strummed. 
each one just walking down the row, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. And then this one, I just heard that sound. I was like, what you want? That's it. And I picked it up and I played it and it played amazingly. And I was just like, this is... This is it. Sometimes it's like, what are they saying? Cats? Like cats if I had that guitar, I would not write any good songs. You would what? I wouldn't, I don't, well. What do you mean? I don't know if that's the case. Yeah. If that guitar was in my ownership, I just, I wouldn't have it. It doesn't belong to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, the guitars have their own songs in it, and then people pick them up, they kind of I shake like them out, you know, and I feel they like fall I wouldn't be able to write a good song on that guitar. Oh, you could. Its name is Bert. It would help Bert? you. Yeah. One of my favorite, my favorite acoustic musician is named Bert Janch. And I'm really into that old English folk stuff, you know, which is where a lot of that... Can you play any, um, what's his name? Dowland? I don't know, no. What's his name? The old folk, uh, like, classical guitar songwriter. Actually, I think he used steel strings. Not... Anyways, Either way, Bert Chance play, yeah. played Yamahas, I found out. It's the guy that I like, you mm -hmm. know? And I was like, why do I like this music so much? What is so good about it? And it was obviously like the Bert's playing, but then the sound is like, what sounds so real about it? So it was like, the universe from every aspect was like, dude, you're getting Basically, it. you connected yeah. in some sense to the dude. to Yamahas in general and yeah. brought you to that guitar. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about Martins. Yeah. The, no, I, like, I, I, yeah. We, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Dude, I, you're getting a Dell, man. You know, that's it. You know. Like, all right. You're whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Well, it is, I get <laughs> but it. But it's true. I yeah. connect. I, I always connected to Martins. Yeah. And then it brought me to the guitar that I was always meant to have. Mm -hmm. Or it's like they was meant to find or was meant to find me. Whatever it is. But It's like they choose you. But almost. I, I don't know. But I was looking. Because yeah. I, I, I'm telling you, I was ready for it. I was waiting for it. Like, I knew. Oh, yeah. I knew this it was going to come to me. Well, you can kind of feel it in the air. Like, within the next month or two, man, something's going to come, yeah. man, you know. That's what I did. That's what I did. My Telecaster, my guild, <laughs> and the way with this thing, you know. Yeah. So you can feel it. You know, I have other guitars, too, you know, but nothing quite had that. Look what's coming your way. I'm going to go get a beer. Nice. Um... Thank you. Great, great song. You yeah. have gotten better. Thank you. Yeah, it's a new new one, you know. There's some bad ones out there, though. <laughs> you know, they sneak oh, in. There should be. How many songs do you think you've written? Since I last saw you? No, uh, sure. Since I last saw you. 12, maybe? About 12? I don't know. I can confidently say 12, yeah. You know. And some of them, you know, they're geared with a bit more of like a, you know, pop sensibility like that one you know like that that one didn't seem that pop to me but that's just a nice little line it sounded like a folk song to well me. it's very folk it is folk you know it, it doesn't but, have a style yet really. yeah well hopefully it's you just know. kind of folk well, I, you know, I you haven't you haven't gotten your band going yet, and yeah, well, no, the band is they get it, they, they get, get it. it. Oh yeah, trust me, this song's gonna be good. They, I, it's in good. Dude, it's already great. You're but, not. But the thing is, is that you know, the thing is, is I get to invite musicians that I admire and that I love, like Max and like Matt, and they take it. And then they add their own sure. little extra sprinkle. They can manipulate it. Yeah, and I'm just like, ah. Oh, and you let them manipulate love it. it. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. You know what's something I know cool them. that I read the other day? What's that? On Facebook, there was something about two spirited Native Americans. Okay. And I showed it to Brett because, you know, yeah, American. he's Native American. But um, it was about two spirited people. Yeah. It's because. I, uh, I'm like I was quite I was at I was telling Shannon this as well because yeah well what do you mean it was an interesting spirit? concept well yeah. apparently lay it on me apparently they had a term for two spirited people so they had they had male female two spirited male two spirited female and transgender. And they had a word for th for each one of those in like five different languages. Like I saw that link on Facebook. Did you see it? Yeah, I didn't read it though. Read it. I was looking at kayaks. <laughs> uh, well, they, they even, dude, they even they even like <clears throat> they even recite like some of the languages and give yeah. the words. It's, it's super cool. And they showed a picture of this guy whose name <clears throat> they they ended up giving him the name finds them and kills them Ugh. because he rescued yeah. somebody. I don't know. But he killed him. No, I think they were referring to uh, towards the Spaniards. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I don't yeah. want that guy to find me. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it's a shitty game of hide and seek. <laughs> basically, he was a two spirited male. Yeah. And he was. He wasn't gay. He was. Uh, he was attracted to women. He was married to women. Yeah. But he was two spirited, so he also really understood and saw that point of view. Yeah. Like just basically somebody gifted that could see both sides. Yeah. And so and they considered a family with somebody that was two spirited. Yeah. To be gifted and fortunate. Yeah. Because and, and so they have they have they show his picture from eighteen something like sixty something, and I think, and he is dressed like you, you like they they're dressed the same him and his wife. Yeah. It's really interesting. Huh. Hey, they're dressed the same. Like he's married to a woman, but yeah. he sees both sides, and he mm-hmm. was two spirited, and he was obviously very masculine at the same time. Yeah. And do the thing, doing the things that he was doing. Yeah, but people like to label things, you know. And it's I not know. necessary. <laughs> no, it's definitely not necessary. <clears throat> it's a waste of breath. Yeah, you know. Well, it's not necessarily a waste of breath. La- I think labeling, you know, it could be. No, but you, you choose your own term. Oh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, you that's not what you're but saying. But I'm saying, you know. Yeah, but you can't tell me not to live Speaker, myself. computer, man. Yeah, exactly. No, that's that's what why they had multiple terms. Yeah. And there was things that weren't very defined, and people were very allowed to be themselves. Yeah. And it wasn't until the Spaniards came over and forced them into either this masculine or yeah. feminine track that society turned into that. Yeah. But... For the Native Americans and for like, I'm sure people on the Mexico side as well. Yeah. It's just you can be whatever you want was basically the general. Yeah. You can, you can label yourself. Yeah. Or something. Like you can dress like a woman if you want. Yeah. You know why not? No, oh, yeah, not. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was just a really cool article. Wow. Yeah. I think I just really like that idea. Yeah. And, and I think that. I don't know. It's just a. I just thought it was a really pretty idea. Mm-hmm. I was like, I would love to have met that person. Like, somebody that's... Well, you know Eddie Izzard. Mm-hmm. Or Ezard, or whatever his name Izzard, is. Izzard, the Izzard. comedian? Yeah, yeah, you know, he dresses like a woman. Yeah. But that idea, it used to confuse me, you know? Really? Yeah. Mm. It did. I didn't get it, but yeah. I think I'm like... You just need a little bit of Bowie, baby. It's all right, you know? <laughs> them and Mick Jagger and all that, you know, that's cool. Yeah. But I didn't... It confused me, you know? Yeah. But I uh, just, I guess that's why you would be fortunate to have somebody like that in your family. To show you all sorts of sides. Yeah. Without a doubt. I'll show you so many sides, Sal. Blow your mind. Right side. Front side. I got a left side, I got a right side. You listen to the album Broadside. It's gonna be good. Well, you already have an album, right? What's it called? Broadside. Broadside. Yeah, keeping up with the side thing right everywhere, now. Or you were it's everywhere. Put up for free. <clears throat> it's everywhere. Um, it's not for free. Um, you know, with iTunes or whatever. It's free on Spotify. You know, um, as everything is. You know, is if, it free for download? On Spotify? Um, no, not on Sp- No, no, it's not free for download. No. Okay. No. Wow. Um, I think Bandcamp gives you, and if you want to, if you want to cheat the system, Bandcamp gives you the option of pay what you want. You know. Do you want to know how I cheat the system? How do you cheat the system? SoundCloud. It's on Sound. There's three of the songs on SoundCloud. I never made it, it that far. Sends it. Yeah. To iTunes and to Google Play. Really. Up for download. Okay. You know, I think you know, I missed out on the SoundCloud thing. I need to hop on that train, I think. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, dude, yeah. That's the future. Well, I, yeah, well, I know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I was, see, did. I'm stuck in my MySpace world of, of uh. days gone past. I don't have a MySpace. <laughs> that, that was, man. That was, that's it. That was a thing, you know. So, you know. And he's over here laughing at both Yeah, yeah. <laughs> both you kids. <laughs> Try a vinyl. <laughs> you know. <laughs> No, no, SoundCloud, because I, 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 like, it's hard for me, it's something I need to do, but it's hard for me to care about that. Like, I just don't, you Dude, know? it gets everything everywhere for free, and you can upload as much content as you want for $15. Yeah. It's basically a memory, but that's also sending everything everywhere. Before well, it's the, we it's the cloud, to, isn't it? Before, no, it's not the cloud. It's not the cloud? No, it's it a the cloud? internet. No, oh. it's an RSS feed. That's oh, how okay. podcasts work. Okay. The podcast started doing that first. So once I realized that, I'm like, well, I put whatever I want on yeah. it. send it. But iTunes, if I want to put something on iTunes, they want me to go to a distribution company. They want me to pay people. Yeah. I go to SoundCloud. I don't. Now what about, I mean, I'm paying what about, what about TuneCore? Mm. 
Uh, I don't know. That's a, yeah. that's another site that's similar. Because like, I'm on Tidal right now. <clears throat> I've got my Jay-Z going. Because the, the tune courts... I've heard about tune courts. 50 bucks a month. And I used to want to do it. Yeah. Before... Again, SoundCloud. Before SoundCloud, you don't SoundCloud, need it. Well, that's, that's what I realized. Well, it changed my mind in a year. What I looked at was all these EDM artists, you know. And I was like... They're putting out so much content. How are they doing this and all that? And I realized that everyone was on that bandwagon on SoundCloud. And in the folky, the folky rock and roll world, I realized that no one was hustling SoundCloud. But that's where all the ears are, you know. Not where, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's it, you know, and everyone's like, well, you have a band camp, All you have a this. Want free co content. content. But the thing is, is like, when I uploaded. So you gotta give it to them. Oh, I gave it to them. Um, but so I put. But you gotta keep doing it. I put three tracks up there. Tell me, you're writing all of these songs, and. I know, I know. And if you wrote 12 since the last time I saw you. Yeah, well, I play you. them to my guitars and my refrigerator, and my windows love the music, you know, so, so they so dig it. people. Yeah, no. Um. Even if you recorded it mono, yeah, I'm telling you. And then, and then before you know, like if if in a year you post fifty songs, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And well, then when you do finally make a project that people want to support you for, and you want to sell it for fifty dollars because you signed it, yeah, they will buy yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, you know, and it's a different way of thinking now. Yeah, you're just not gonna sell that many copies anymore. I just gotta get on the SoundCloud bandwagon. They're giving away for free, and also. The flash drive bandwagon. No, I think I started talking about you it did around the time when you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, you but want uh, water. Uh, I'll take what's behind you. But yes, go on. Well, <laughs> the flash drive thing. Yeah, no, I mean the flash drive thing. I started talking about. I. I Came up with with that idea. Yeah. Because no, because I had to. I am trying to figure out how to monetize something, right? You have to. You have to be able to feed yourself. Yeah, it's merchandise. Bills. It's Music City Spotlight. Uh, it's not about merchandise to me. Yeah. I don't care if this podcast never makes any money. <clears throat> yeah. But you. Uh, but you I'm let me worry about that, Sal. I'll make you some money. <laughs> I'm on the bandwagon of selling. Flash drives, just because it's a lot more content. I don't know. It's just I think it's uh, and and I've come up with all sorts of ideas. It, it it's three dollars and fifty cents mm -hmm. a flash drive, four gigabytes. If I buy two hundred and fifty, okay. Yeah. And if you do a Kickstarter, that fully funds the project. I mean, I'm recording myself, so on this yeah. on this side of things, on the record label side of things, everything's for free. Yeah. And if I can get the pen drives to be bought for me through people that are willing to support what I'm trying to do, which is create a lot of content. Yeah. That pen drive can contain videos of me right now, pictures. For Brent, I told him we would take a picture of every single pic around his head. Yeah. You know, he's that. got a lot, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. And you can do anything with it. You it's can... always changing. Always changing too. Yeah. yeah. I'll add I one to it tonight. A I got a good ago. pink one. Yeah. Well, give it a little bit of flair to it. <laughs> you know. Anyways, mm, this is my favorite. So. Sell the flash drive for twenty five dollars, or sell a wooden flash drive for fifty dollars that you signed, or sell a, a little a little jar yeah. for for a hundred dollars with a strip of hemp paper that you autograph to that person. But what if it's too much to do? It's not because I can you're just at get your house. As long as you're making music. No, no, not for you. But if I'm like, if I'm the consumer. Oh. Okay. Like well, when I just want to get it online, you know. It is gonna be all online. Okay. That's why I'm selling it on a flash drive. Yeah. It's it's a matter of support because. Uh, dude, so you have to go off of people's belief and trust, you know. The fact that I'm digging producing it, yeah. a lot of content. Yeah. I'm not. They're they're not going off. I'm not going off of trust. It's if I stop doing it, they're gonna stop listening. Yeah. It's a matter of that is your job, but you should be enjoying it along the way. Yeah. Don't be uh, stressed out about stuff because you could do it on your phone now. Oh yeah. All the yeah. content that we put on Facebook, it's all on Shannon's phone. Yeah. And it sounds great. It's, yeah. It's not even the recording, and then I do this part, and and this is a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm not stressing about this. You're not stressing about this. Mm -mm. Brent's over there chilling. Brent, are you stressing about this? <clears throat> He is not stressing about this. Yeah. It's pretty chill over there. No, I'm really not. Hey, no, there you go. We're just having fun, but at the same time, we're producing content. Oh, yeah. And yeah. ultimately, I think it's the best content. Like, I love listening back to some of them. Yeah. 
when um, I really like the person and I really yeah. like their song. Yeah, it's uh. Oh, well, you get to dig in a little bit more, you know, and you find out, well, well why that song? You know, and uh, I, I dig that. I dig that. But I don't I even that. try to do that. Yeah. Like, if you listen back to the podcast, I almost never talk about, like, why did you write that song? Yeah. I don't care, because I'm yeah. a songwriter myself. Yeah. So I don't ask those yeah. questions. Yeah, I knew I'm I more, right. yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm more like about, like, like are we going to, what are we doing over here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of those uh, that'll tell you about it, whether you are. Uh, yeah. There you go. See, that's uh, see, that's the method I need to take. That's just sell the, myself. That's, that's <clears> the way I do. You know, I just sell myself. Yeah, that's how I came about writing this song. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because yeah. that's the old time way of doing it. Well, it's it's well, just I'm sick, old time. Right? Okay? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but we love that you're around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Brad. Welcome, Brad. Yeah, write us a song. <clears> I'll write you a song right now. Um. This song, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this Brent style. Yeah. So this song is, um, yeah, well it doesn't have a name. Probably like, you know, I'm ready to be 20 again. Well, we'll say that. We'll say that's it. You know, um, and it's about like all songs, falling in love with a girl, but it takes uh, you know, the aspect when you're a musician, you. Unless you're really successful, you get vilified, I find, in a way, by a lot of people. It's like they admire you, and it's like, oh, I love you, I wish I could do that, but get a job, you know? And, and I have real thing, I'm working with this company, making X, you know? And, and when you're playing nothing but music, it, it becomes difficult to kind of not compete with that, but it's like two different worlds, you know? And, you know, and, and so where I get with it, you know, the first lines, you know, some friends wrapped around it all, involved in this and that, you know? They tell me to dissolve or play the reason or the rat, you know? And it's like, they're like, dude, use your head, get a job, man, make it happen, you know? Or, you know, sell out to this bullshit company and do it. But, you know, the benefits, man, fantastic, you know? They're just wrong, and they're probably well, boring. Well, the it sounds thing like is, people I don't want to be around. Well, the thing, well, they're you know, um, everyone's got their own thing, you know. Yeah, that's and, true. And that's and, but, not, but you, but just how you let them be them. Yeah, they should let you be. You. Well, you know, I, I have done exactly the opposite of. of <laughs> there, well, that's it. Yeah, Brent, this really. song is for you, Brent. Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, plays a song. But um, yeah, it's that you know. But you know, then it goes in the part. But you know, you can't dismiss the talk around their face that's turning blue. You know. And it's kind of like they're, they're choking and, themselves. And turn the other cheek. Well, they're, yeah, well, I, I don't... I see a song there, Sal. I Boom. sit down, I'm like, let me write something about this. Yeah, you can write something so about it. You guys are choking yourself. Yeah, play yeah. song. Mm. Mics are up.
she tied me to an anchor and she told me not to drown. I'll try to be less quiet, but baby, there ain't much more. And it's all in just surviving as I sleep upon your floor. Thank you. Yeah, that's my, that's pretty my, damn good. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Thank you. Thank you. Well, mm-hmm. That's a little bit of music for you. Is that the one? That's that's a brand new one too. That one was written. <clears throat> um, the song I played before, the kept pieces. We were rehearsing it one day, and the song was about two days old. It was about two weeks ago, and Max, the bass player, recording engineer. Um, jack of all trades he hopped on the drums to have some fun and while our drummer was leaving and I just started playing it and then all of a sudden it was like uh oh here it comes you know grab the pen you know and it came out you know sometimes it's kind of like you know and I've always tried to deduce well, it, it happens that way well, you always try to find though you're like well there must be a logical reason of where this comes from you know somebody will say something and you and you have a song you right got, there. You gotta sit down there and write that hook down, or sometimes just sit down there and write the whole damn song. But that was it. This song, and, you, you know, know, as Neil Young would say, you know, this song took as much time to write as it does to play, <laughs> you know? And it just kind of just came straight out, you know, straight out, straight I out. I don't know what that means. No, it, it's you, you kind it of... It being even. Like, it, it, yeah. you have to play it in order to write it. Mm-hmm, that's it. But the thing is, is how easy, you know, because there'd be like, she's... It's almost like the song writes itself. That's exactly sometimes. it. And you just have to be there to be like the hand. Hey, yeah, uh, can I yeah. get a hit of that? Yeah. Yeah, you have to be the hand. No, you have to be the, the hand antenna. with the, with yeah, the antenna, you know, with the pen. And yeah. it's, you know, and I think it's kind of a balancing of thoughts in your head, you know, and different chemicals. And there's a time... Just like everything does, where it all kind of aligns, you know, and you're in the right now moment. You're talking solar system, sir. And it just comes out. But it's true, though, you know. Um, not saying that it, you know, the planets you wrote mean that the song. The flow of something, the flow. Of... You've been you've been marinating enough, writing songs, doing that. You get a little riff. It's like, oh, I can write a song right there, and that just comes out, you know. Um, and that's where that did, you know. And. Uh, <sighs> Man, you know that's what was that same thing that was stressing you out earlier about music. That's what was stressing me out when I was doing the podcast. And yeah. I kind of like slowed down and like I stopped contacting people and stopped like. You got you got will, you got to enjoy it more. You know, you you end up getting stuck in this thought. At least this. But is I get people me. that show up and they're not enjoying it. Oh yeah. I get no. people that show up and they're thinking about all this other stuff. That I don't want to be thinking about. Yeah, no, 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 no. You know, and every, yeah, I mean, everyone's I got... Want it, I want it to be a cool hang. Yeah, everyone's got their own trip. You know. Yeah, you know, everyone's got their own... Their own baggage that they bring in, you know. But, you know, you don't get hung up on it. You know, for me, it was like... I Not was, after you start playing music. Uh, in my travels, uh, yeah. I don't know how many times I've just walked off and left everything, but my guitar... And a bag of clothes up to Harry with me. I oh, just walked off and everything I I had accumulated. <laughs> done. Over it. Else. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Left, left, left the rest of it. Yeah. But that's it, you know. What I found, you know, was that, like, I was ready to quit music in April. And I had, I set the guitars down. I was like, come here we're now, done. So not like, come, come. This was after I'd seen you. This is after I'd seen I you. I thought so. And I was ready. I was just done. I was done. I didn't want to deal with people. Didn't want to do any of this. I was going to move to Florida, get a boat, 
you know, a job that but does you gonna stop whatever. Music. Only to myself, but I was not going to record it. I wasn't going to put it out. I wasn't going to do but anything. also when you record it, that's what I'm talking about, recording your own stuff and not having somebody else do it. Because the way I do it, I set up a mic, yeah. one microphone, then I'll put a song into it. And yeah. then I, I just leave it there, and then I'll show up with a banjo. Yeah. And then I'll just start doing backups. But, but I... I but not with anybody around. Yeah, I didn't even want to play a guitar when it was just me. You know, it was just like, because it had this stigma to it of so much... What do you mean when it was just you? Even like, okay, so like say I'm hanging out in my apartment having a good little night. And there was oh, a guitar yeah. there looking at me over in the corner. And, you know, that's the way it's been my whole life. And I'd always be like, oh, I'd sit down and play six hours and you know, go... Maybe you're you know? avoiding it, and maybe it wasn't right. avoiding it. It was, it was, it was reconsidering it. It was understanding. Okay, well, what purpose does this thing play? And ever since, you know, and as soon as I put it away, oh. I got about a week and a half out of it, and I wrote three songs as soon as I picked it up next time. You know, and then it was like, you know what? The problem is you weren't having fun anymore. You know, and you're you talking weren't into that. Also you about know? being like a warrior. And well, no, it's not a warrior. It's it's you know you 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 put up with your lumps doing it. You know you can only play so many like country Broadway songs. You but know, remember how you were of talking Trace about Atkins or whatever. So many times for you know X amount of money will drive you up the wall. You know. You were talking about and it you, coming from something that you don't understand, and you're doing it yeah. for something that you don't. Well, I guess understand, that thing. I guess that thing needed yourself. a vacation. It needed two weeks off. You know, the muse was in Bermuda. You know. Um, I yeah. mean, you're, I mean, that's how I'm relating it to being a warrior. Mm -hmm. Like you're not doing it for Phil Stanley so much. You're doing it for whatever it is that's coming to you. And 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 that you need to do. Yeah, not to sound wildly conceited. Um, it's not. But dude. but that's uh, but that's actually a very good point. And yet, yeah, it it's about doing things for other people. Well, and that's why I really love that song. Jesus was a Capricorn, because that's like I never like that's how I always thought of Jesus in my own way yeah. but I never heard it and I never just heard think how bad it would be way. if Jesus was a Gemini <laughs> well you know I, I personally don't think he was born because I'll tell you why I don't think he was born December 25th uh, it, it said at the time of his birth uh, the shepherds were watching their flocks by night yeah only time they ever did that in the Middle East was when it was mating season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. And that's that has happened around so December twenty fifth. It happens what, wasn't around it I think, June March or, something? or April in oh, the Middle April? East, something huh. like that. Just because Jesus' story came about two thousand years ago doesn't mean that's when. I think it's uh, December twenty fifth. Actually coincides with an old pagan. It was holiday. a pagan holiday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was the so the I, winter uh, celebration. So they, We're done they harvesting. Changed it to nothing that. to do yeah, for. Yeah, yeah I'm know. trying to say that maybe just because the story came about two thousand years ago doesn't mean that it it, it came about two thousand years ago. Jesus' story might be. It could even be a metaphor for a type of people that actually always acted in 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 service of other people and loved each other in the way that Jesus did. If you can't find nobody else, then what was the line? What? Yeah, help yourself to me. Then help yourself to me, because okay. that's what Jesus did, right? He 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 was a warrior. He put himself out there for other people. Okay. And if you can't help, if you yeah. can't find nobody else, then help yourself to me. Yeah. And I think it may even be a metaphor. I mean, not necessarily. I don't know. Maybe Jesus did exist. Maybe he didn't. Maybe it's just a metaphor for uh, for that we as people can be that. Hopefully, but that's not what we are now. Yeah. And following Jesus is following that message, and people miss out on the message all the time. And that's why when we were doing the podcast earlier with Russell Brand and Joe Rogan, they, were, they had a podcast. And you had talking. Russell Brand and Joe Rogan in here? No, not in oh, here. No. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Anyways, they were they did Except a podcast. Like Sal, they, <laughs> wait, 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 You're getting desperate if you have me there. in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, they did a podcast and they were talking about like it got to like Jesus yeah. at some point, and then and then Russell Brand, you know, being comedian, he's like he makes a joke and he's like. Yeah, I think a lot of people miss the message. Don't be gay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and he was just dicking around, you know. Somewhere in a Bible or something. Uh, point is, I just <clears throat> I, I love that message, and I don't know if I, if, if I don't know what it what it is, but I follow that message. I don't know if I follow Jesus or not, but I follow that message. Yeah, I I I'll, I won't go as heavy handed on the whole religion trip. No, but, but I'll I, say I'll I'll say it's it's a yeah. it's a. You know the song "Almost Cut My Hair" 
by David Crosby and Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Mm. Uh, I don't know that song. Almost uh, cut my can't play. head. I think I've heard it before. Right, yeah, I, want your, I want this to people to be able to download it, right? Do you want to play it? No. Uh, I want people to be able oh, to okay. download this podcast. Yeah, okay. So don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Well, there's a song called Almost Cut My Hair out there, yeah. which I'll give free publicity for. It's a yeah. fantastic song. It's a great guitar solo. And, you know, and it's, you know, David Crosby, who wrote it, is... He keeps his hair long because he feels that he owes it to someone, you know. So that's where I would like in my whole trip, you know. Well, again, that, warrior, that, like that, you know. You're a warrior. You're someone I'm, that I'm wants. To, so you're someone warrior. that wants to do something for other people. Yeah. Well, you know, um, and myself. What, no, know? dude. Okay, I don't want to get into this, but just what you did, like just you being mature enough to go and take care of your father. Yeah, but like, you know, but they do like any, you know, vacation you're, upstate you're New York. Fighting you know, for other people who can't fight for themselves. Yeah, but no, but like musically, like it's a lot of, you know, I play it for people that can fight for themselves too, you know? Because yeah. even they need to have a little bit of fun. But I mean, in general, you as a person, I'm not talking music, I'm talking to you as a person, Phil. And that's what I even texted you that, right? When yeah. You, when you, he was, he was, yeah, yeah. He was wildly, quotation marks, apologizing. Yeah, wildly apologizing. For, I forgot. For you know? not showing up last week. Brent was here last week, too. I had a one track mind, Brent. One track mind, one thing to get taken care of. And damn right I did it, you know? Anyways, he was wildly, quotation marks, apologizing for not being able to make it last week when he was going to be on. But I, t- I told him, I was like, I was like, you don't have to be sorry if. if People that know you, and I only met him that one time, last time that he did the podcast. People that know you know that you're about. What did I say? Something about your heart. I said oh, yeah. about your, you know, you're just your good intentions about your well. You just, you just a good person. I try. I and try. I knew that if he there's a million it, people it was that would disagree. Reason, and he was out doing something that he had to do for somebody yeah. else. Well, oh yeah. That's a warrior. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but like you know. There are real warriors nice out there that yeah, go oh, through definitely. a lot more oh, than this of, guy well, does. This gentleman you know? over here, he's a yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. Everyone's I, I, if I, yeah, I am a you know. You're a poet. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna yeah, go, with let's that. go with that. That's <laughs> how I'd want it. That, yeah, and I'll take I'll take that one. That's another Christopherson song. I'm a poet. He's a poet. He's a picker. Oh yeah, he's yeah. a prophet. He's a pusher. He's a pilgrim and a preacher, nice. and a problem when he's stoned. <laughs> nice. Anyways, do you write that about me? You know, it, it, it's, it's just a problem. It's just it out. What's up? It's hitting an hour, so play us one oh. song. We'll cut it. We'll, we'll cut it, and then we'll just like keep hanging out. Cool. Um, play us one more song. Podcast. Here's here's another one off the album, which I'd love to talk about because I got some 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 neat ideas in there that I think we would expound oh. on. So keep it rolling. This is gonna be our hour and a half long po- podcast. Kit. This song's called Miss Shoeshine, and it's about the girls getting gussied up to go out in Nashville. You know. <laughs> That you ain't so tired of trying It's all you said, babe And your eyes are cracked And it looks just like you're crying And your smiles are short And you reason with a sigh Don't be scared, babe when your money's in the street, you cut your hair, babe. And you pray for cash and you put some on your sheets. And you'll toss and turn, but call me in the week. So shine bright, miss you shine. Though you can't be mine tonight Though you look right and you dress nice Though you ain't 
you're so smart You're just living by her design Oh, I'm just a part And I feel just like I'm dying Somebody it reminds me of, and yeah. I couldn't put my finger on it. Mm. Like from way back there. I'm Neil Young and everybody right now. Because usually oh, it's a yeah. tap, to, a, okay. a toe awesome. tap and rocker. You know, they have that. Like Playing it live for the audience, kids, you know. But when you do it wooden style. You're really doing the bass thing, though. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. yeah. Well, well that's it. You know, it's, it's not a right or right that. Well, I, do, I do my bass stuff too. You know? Yeah, well, it was, it was, it was pri- pr- primarily when yeah. you're an electric player or, or an acoustic or something like that. You know, what I found with an electric band, what gets, what gets the kids really going is that that low note. You know, that's See, heavy. I'm, you know? I'm what you call a double picker or a cross picker. He does that too. Huh? Have you noticed that he kind of? He does. does I get it. Pretty similar to it. Yeah, you guys play similar. Self-taught. Yeah. That's how we roll. Oh, so, yeah. That's but anyway, cool. that's, you know, it, 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 well, where I grew up in Arkansas, they called it double picking. Now, is but, that the up, down? But, it, but in Tennessee, it's called cross picking. Now, is that with the finger so, thing? That's the... No, no, you just use the single uh, pick. He's but he's yeah, well, I always learned strumming down. Because I was like, why the fuck would I go up? Except when I did like a turnaround. You know, but always down. You have your most control. I only do it for the turnaround. You're really good. I see. I can't do that right there. Yeah, that, yeah. Everybody has. Well, I'm a lead guitar. You know, if we're talking about songwriting, which I think we are, is um uh no no I know um is. It's all an extension for me of guitar playing. You know, if you play enough leads after you can get it, Brent. 
if you play enough leads after a while, um, the thing is, is that you start realizing that like, oh, that's a really good riff that I could create a song song around. You should. Highly encourage it. No, no, you're fine. For well, me, it all stu- well. Home run. <coughs> My voice started changing on around 12 years old. I'd already been. Mine still hasn't changed. But teach- you're lucky, I'm still waiting. I'd already been teaching myself guitar for a couple of years. Yeah. I'm good right now. Uh, I started because I started when I was 10. Yeah. I learned out of a chord book and listening to the radio and stuff. You know. But. Uh, then at, at 12 years old, when I finally started getting good enough, I took my guitar to church and I played, you know, up on the stage. We were yeah. Pentecostals, so you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, well, I, started, I started in Baptist. But even, and I'm about that time, when I was trying to start singing. Uh, my voice was changing, so I, you know, yeah. for so my voice changed, and you know, I had a rough time trying to sing right there yeah. during that period. But. Eventually, my voice did change. I did never did quit trying to sing. Well, see, at least you have a good voice. You can be blessed with this shit, you know. I'm glad I can talk. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but singing, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. But I was determined to do it. Yeah. I'm determined. I've tried. I've barked up that tree. Singing guys are like, no, go home. <laughs> you play guitar, you know. Um, but I had to do it for me. It's an extension of playing lead guitars. Well, I have this melody, I have this chord progression, why not write a song around it? <clears throat> oh, you're in. He's in the D. Oh, I've played with these tunings before. Yeah, baby. They're good. It's sounding it's heavy. Huh? Thank you. Isn't it like a surprisingly? I went can, through, I, can I see it for a yeah, By yeah, all it's means. Been a few years, but I've it's, been. It's, I've done it. I went across. It's in Drop D. I, I was across the board with it, you know. And there were ones just like that, but that one had the sound, you know. Hang on. I gotta get. Get a pick from your hat. Hell. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's gonna chew. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. just don't wanna mess up your guitar. I'm yeah. getting a pick out. If, dude, I, you can throw that puppy against the wall. It's so solid. <laughs> Well, I it is, I you know. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, but you know, but if you did, I wouldn't be too worried. I'd be like, ah, yeah, the guitar can handle it. I would not do it's that. It's true. It's an amazing. Yeah, it's a it's a testament to the. Uh, uh, we're trying to be semi literal over here. That's why. No, that entire. Wall. But no, but seriously, that my other Yamaha and people will tell you they were thrown against walls. You know, and they held up. Well, you got. Uh, it's the you got D on the bottom, you got yeah, D on top. He, he, Played it in drop D. It's fun, it's really oh, heavy. Try it. Don't change it. Yeah, just try it. No, no, no. It's yeah. Try yeah. With the tuning? Hell no. Not at all. We're still rolling. That that actually. thing changes every like you like every song or Yeah, you should change the tuning. That's how I I like it. And I do I, I, I do a lot of songs in standard. I do a lot of songs in you know, double drop D, a lot of songs in G. But I usually keep the bottom string wound up to an E. I never go both down, so that way I can solo still with my electric and get that high stuff. Uh, do you want me to do that song? It's a, do one. It sounds good. Jesus See, I get to hear my corner. Oh, yeah, can we do that? Yeah, well, I'm saying, why don't we do that and then we uh, can't put it on? Oh, 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 no, never oh. mind. Never mind, I That's forgot about that. I can't put it on this coming here. No, no, better not do that. I'll just, I'll just pick a little bit. She made me think of a hard wind blowing She said as she gazed through my eyes Sometimes you make me think of a hard wind blowing Like the wind blows across the sky You 
you've been living hard and it ain't through showing the desert, the mountains, and the trees. A million miles of highway and a hard wind blowing, restless wind that has to go free. Sometimes you make me think of a hard wind blowing, she said as she gazed to make me think of a hard wind blowing like the wind that blows across the sky. All the things you learned came a hard way Hard wind blowing, I was swept away in the sun. Sometimes you make me think of a hard wind blowing, she said as she gazed to my eyes. Sometimes you make me think of a hard wind blowing, like the wind that blows across the sky. Bleeding a little bit there, Brent. Huh? On your hand. Do you want me to get you a paper towel? Oh, uh, yeah, please. What's that? Here. Oh, my. I got it. Oh, yeah, shit, I'm sorry. I didn't know it started bleeding. <clears throat> no, it's okay, dude. Got your soul on here now, Brent. <laughs> Come on, Brent. Yeah, I just don't want to see you right there. Well, I, I, mean, I have trouble, you know, we got... I don't know if we're going to have accidents. <laughs> What's that? Breaks out on you. Shit everywhere. No, no, it's not that. Turns and watches what I have, so. Oh. <laughs> you could have brought her, you could have brought her in, a, in a, on a leash. No, she's still go. crazy right now. Doggy too feisty? Yeah, yeah he's just stressing me out a little. Let's go over here. He has to, he has to try his best just to do it. I, no, it's cool on the guitar. I was just worried about him. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder what broke open. Yeah. I guess it was right there. Zach, yeah, you're rocking out too hard tonight. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's see if this beauty Yeah. Hurt. Let's do it. Never Sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to start bleeding. No. Bert, yeah. Yeah. That's Bert. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, to me, like, it, it was purely a sound thing, and I lucked out that it looked really cool. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this sounds great. Like, and it looks awesome. Yeah, you know. I feel like yeah, they have that like more, you know, this has the light woody tint to it, you know. Get it in there, are we recording still? Yeah. Rolling? Get it. Oh, this is going. Turn this, turn this to you, Sal. Do you want to some no, don't move the mics, man. It was perfect for oh, you. Oh, okay. We're going to give you back the guitar. Oh, okay. Just sure it's coming it's back. Good. There it is. There it is. Oh, wow. Check on. It just sounded good earlier. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this is our Yamaha endorsement deal hour where we. Oh yeah. Uh, I guess it's Thank you. the way to do it, right? I guess when things are. We live, swear by this one, sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. It's great. I like. I would love to be endorsed. I, I would love to endorse and share microphones. You hear that, great. sure? When you, you listening that? out there? <laughs> Send me a few. Mm -hmm. This is directly to you, man. Oh, there. Point that one, I guess, at Shannon. What? Coming your way, Shannon. I don't know. <laughs> a little closer. Shannon, sit closer. There we go. Well, this is the informal hour. We've done the business. Laying on a cell. Tired of the business part. Do, we do, want, the business? do you want me to sing? Shannon. <laughs> really? We're just miking your aura. Yeah, isn't that my girl? <laughs> so, yeah. I know, I'm just kidding. Something that I was telling him about it up. You know. I was telling you about two spirited people, but I think I was the well, I thought like maybe Shannon could be two spirited, because she seems to really see everything, a lot of things that I don't see. Anyways, maybe that's just her being a woman, or maybe that's probably because I'm always changing. I'm always like, well, like yeah, she does all the change. Really, like her clothes, my she changes it often, and me like I don't care. Yeah. Anyways, I change it often.
Sometimes that it comes out immediately, and like Neil Young had said, and I was telling, sorry, Brent earlier, is it's like it takes as much time to write as it does to play it, you know, and you get it out. And there was a song I did, we don't really have a name for it, um, that I just did here, and it's that way. I mean, that was just like it came right out. It's not necessarily going to be the best songs. Sometimes it is, but songs have their own purpose. And they're kind of like, I'm just coming out now, and I'm like, okay, it looks like you are. <laughs> I'll write yeah. it down, you know. Um, other songs, it takes forever. You know, with She's Gone, um, which is a song I started. One. Thank yeah, you. See, see, she remembers it too. See, it's just, it's just got the built in hook for the kids, you know. <laughs> no, but I, that one, I came up with the riff, and I tried to write the rest of the song, and I had nothing else except like the verse. There was nowhere to go. I just said, it was a dead end. Every, you know, he's the same. <laughs> that you know no that's not you know and so I, I shelved it so we were starting to record the album and I had to focus on that and I took the song and just fucking shelved it then about two three months later I was able to come back and we went right into the studio to do it we turned you know we just started playing I was like guys I have this idea to so just roll with it flesh it out and so that's the good thing and that's why I, love I have the guys. a song it took me five years well that's it I mean I, 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 can, yeah, I probably got you on that I got well, like I finally wrote ones that are like 12 you know <laughs> riffs don't have even if you're like just beginning that doesn't mean a riff's bad yeah. you have it it's just that you eventually get it when you know how to do something with it so songs yeah they can take you know the outliers are the ones that take you know five years, ten years, whatever, but the, usually you can go between one, three to six months. And sometimes an idea from the past kind of gets recycled. I wrote one, well, I finished one the other night, but it's taken me like a month to figure it out. Yes, yeah, that's, 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 that's a young one. That's a good one. That was done yeah. quick, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, like she's gone, took forever because I didn't know. But you have that one moment doing whatever in the shower, whatever. You have that. Fuck, that's that's Do the verse. That's the verse. <clears throat> uh, no, they were difficult, and they took a lot of practice. Um, I, if they're good, if not, then I don't know. Yeah. Um, but uh, lyrically speaking, um, it's it's practice game. You get better, you get better. You look Shit, back at you old sit ones on the sofa or that are worse. So you get share that microphone. Sure, you should take one of these. Oh. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, oh, oh I'm, running, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah. Picking up your guitar. There you go. But words are, yeah, words, you have to, like, and this is weird, because it's like, okay, like, here we go, but, like, Michael Stipe from R.A.M. Put that microphone, like, right about in here. It's got it. You just have to shout. Just, ah! <laughs> You like, just, yeah, lyrics sorry. sometimes they just come out so corny because you have to you what you got to move away from that here's yeah. the strategy I used because I had that where it's like oh I've used that like every song because it rhymes you know mm-hmm. um it, sing whatever comes to mind and then if it's even just kind of like a it, it's not even a word right mm-hmm. what I do is I'll just write down whatever that sound you know or, <laughs> you know whatever it is and then a word eventually comes to it because yeah. you have enough time to process it, but you remember that instinctually the melody is fantastic. Mm-hmm. And it's like that. So I lose all inhibition, and if I get kind of a thing bubbling up, I'm like, that's it, follow it, you know? And and it's been, it's been, in my opinion, for what I like, the best way to do it. Because I had that, and it was brutal. You have to, like, hear the sound first, to, and then form the word, you, like, kind of... Yeah, you just, you know, because it's kind of... Ah, you know, and that could be anything. You know, right... Or tonight, yeah, it could be whatever. The song's not developed yet, but you got the verse ahead of time. So save it, store the melody, and just kind of sit back with it, and then wait. And that's what I do. I get a lot of stuff like that. I just fill words in. It's like a Mad Lib too. And that's how you find out like what songs are about. You know. You ad living right now? Musically? Yeah. Oh, and just talking? Mm-hmm. This is true. It makes sense. Have you ever uh, wrote a song? You start. You think you're writing about one thing when you start out. That's yeah. that's the journey of the and song. Then, that's what's fun about then, a song. The song takes you somewhere. Yeah, the song writes like, itself. Like, yeah. yeah, that's what you're. Yeah. 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 yeah There's. That's what you're I have so many like that when it's like you get it and it's like. That's kind of like a psychedelic. It, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna line up with a psychedelic. I think it's I think it's just a it's it's a head trip. It's definitely something else, you know. It's like you know? a psychedelic. Yeah. No, it is. The song is like that. It's, it's, it's a psychedelic. Very much like a psychedelic. It's a, it's a trip. Well, the, pro- it's a, the process of writing a trip. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I'm not to it. It's okay. Yeah. But that's the fun part, and that's what I like most. If I had to say about the trip, songwriting, it's the adventure, the yeah, yeah, the journey. It's all about the journey. The trip. And yeah, the trip, you know. But the thing is, is when you get into that, it's like it's fun to see where the song ends up, you know. Uh-huh. You can change people's moods too. Yeah. Like, just by whatever you're writing. Oh yeah. Well, it's just why you have to choose. At least they thought to me. Song. Song. Yeah. yeah. I, I do. I, I am very conscious of that. I'm trying yeah. to write a happy song. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. Try. I don't want to be a bummer. Yeah, the, the happy songs, it's harder to write. Hey, you guys want to so hear this sad. song I wrote? I'm so sad. <laughs> I hate my life. I can't even. <laughs> uh, but it is, oh, it's I guess easy. It is a happy song I'll because you made us laugh. There you go. Well, it was a joke. <laughs> Phil, what's the last happy <coughs> song that you wrote? Oh, uh, fuck. Um. <laughs> he doesn't even remember. No, no, but it's easier to write a sad song than it is a happy I song. I know, it's a choice. Yeah, it's a human condition. It directs you, says you're going to feel like this sometimes, to appreciate this, and it's a balance. I wrote a song called Juniper that I thought was really happy. I think a long time there, ago. I think yeah. they're trying so to do you said Juniper? Juniper. As in a Juniper. Uh, in a good way. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A, yeah. a little Jennifer Juniper. Donovan on it. Yeah, you know? 
Mm. It was just used once in it, and I was like, okay, we're gonna choose it. Oh, play it, play it. I don't even know if I remember it. We might have had too much vodka. Yeah, play it so. a little bit of it. Yeah. And this was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away with the band I was in with these kids. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, we were drinking vodka, so if he's yeah, uh, the tiniest bit sloppy, yeah, don't listen give to him me. a break. Jeez. But also, you give yourself a break, man. People know that. Chill. I miss you as I'm leaning here on your ivy wall. It's 3 a.m. and it's time for bed. So, oh fuck, I can't even remember it now. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of the words on it. But that was it. It was a happy song. It was, uh, well, that's not what I mean by happy. No, but it gets to a very lovey part where it's all about how much it mean means. So it's all okay. Lovey. Either way, I accomplished lovey. it. But you give me a <sighs> vibe. But it's, it, that's it. It's hard to write. I couldn't sing a million sad songs. Like, I got tons of them. But a sad song. The saddest songs end in major keys. Is that true? Yeah. Is that like the irony of it? It's like, it's, no, it's, 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 it's the resolution. It's so sad. <laughs> it's the resolution of it. It's the, it's the fact that in nature, as far as harmonics are concerned, the major third is much more prevalent than the minor third. Not only that, it's uh, it comes up first before the minor third. Okay. Wait, but where? What? In harmonics. Look, yeah. I'll show you. Let me your guitar. Right no, now. I get it. Oh, I, I can sh no, I can show you like by ringing a string and touch a gentle. No, I, I I do know that. See, but I got hooked on the. I love that little thing. I got hooked on it. I'm just saying that no, that's no. that's you you asked me. You said how what makes it um what makes that happy or sad or whatever. Yeah. I don't remember what you asked me. But I was it's saying, nature, well, saying. Either way, yeah, just yeah. nature. Like, it's not about... I don't know, I'm not trying to control it. No, yeah. That's just in nature. It's like, uh, if there is a god, then... Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. It's true, it's kind of like... Massive. See, like right now, like these new songs, they were in major keys, man. Yeah, that's and, true. And they were... They were... They were tits, <laughs> but I didn't want to say it. Yeah. But yeah, they were. They were the bee's tits. knees, my friend. No, they were pretty tits. The heppest of the hep, I believe, is the current. They were good songs, the right? right I remember uh, something about some boy saying that when I was in a bar in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, with an old friend of mine and his girlfriend. You know, and his his girlfriend had some really nice knockers. You know, and she yeah. kind of <laughs> shoots all them off. We were in a honky tonk, right? And this young kid came up beside. Us and uh, he, he was he was looking at my hair and my hat and all. That. He says, "Man, that's tits." I said, "No, man, that's tits." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, I mean, these two. And everybody laughed their asses yeah. off. Everybody thought that was funny. Even Anatomically her, educated, <laughs> I guess, for the youth. Because he knows it's true. You can't you can't hide it. You know, men love breasts and women have breasts. Makes me happy, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love well, beautiful it. guitar solo. <laughs> <laughs> Phil over here, the poet, the poet slash warrior, with his record that came out yeah, before. But, yeah, right. I don't remember the name yeah. of it. Broadside. Broadside. Yeah. Why broadside? Cause it was like, it was like, okay, well, this is the first sort of statement I have to make. And I want people to at least start out knowing that, like, I'm loud and it might get, you know, a little out of line as part of it. That's the parameters. So it was, it was setting up a frame for it. The content, I think, more is coming in the next one. But it had one or two really cool things on it that I really liked. And she's gone on it, which is a nice little Maybe song. you're too worried about it. No, I'm not too worried about it, but it's like... The confines of it all. Yeah, you in know. In general. The whole pro, the, not just the whole project, you as a musician and how you fit into this project. Yeah, I'm hard to you, please, so. If well, you're I'm a tough critic. If the shoe doesn't fit, then don't wear it. No, I don't. There's a lot of shoes out there that don't fit. 
Right. They have to, right. Yeah. They have to come to you. Most people's shoes won't fit mine. Well, you have my boots. Feet, you know, because I got like 13s over here. You know? There you go. Under babies. 13s and a half, I think. Like 11 at Rack Room 9. Failure, beautiful person. Thank you. Do what makes you happy. You no, you happy. no, I that's totally am right. Yeah, with my feet. You know, I have all some people here. Yeah. All these people here right, right now are beautiful people. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll play us another one that you want to play. Maybe another new one or the one that's on your last record. Or just something that sounds cool. And then we'll wrap it up because now we are at an hour and a half. Yeah, I was going to say, we've been going. Uh, this is in minutes, you know, so the 1.13. Oh, okay. I mean, it's like 20 minutes in after we did the sound yeah. check. Hmm. one's kind of one that's in the works for the next one. It's all the new stuff tonight, Whatever. folks. Uh, but it's just... It's kind of like, again, like if you want music to be your job, then you got to be recording yourself along the way. Oh, yeah. No. But you just got to keep doing it because you got to keep producing content. And you also got to keep getting better, oh, as yeah. you have been. 
Man, those first three songs that you play were like solid. Oh yeah, those are the ones that are gonna be, except the first and the most predominant ones that we've been working on. You know? Sorry, song two and three, I liked yeah. more than yeah. the first one actually. Good, good, because those are the two, those are, you know, the ones we're working on right now. So that's probably why the other ones will soon hopefully yeah be twice. But yeah, those those are yeah the next album. She started recording in two week called called a. Uh, Everything Causes Cancer in California. Um, yeah, we start that two weeks. Those are the songs that are going on. Well, there it is. We'll look some forward more. to that. Yeah. And uh, let's, uh, let's hit pause on this and yeah. play some more songs. Let's yeah. do it. <clears throat> 